Hi friends and welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna talk about nursing certifications and why you should get one. So chances are, if you're a nursing student and you're out in the clinical setting, you've started to notice that as nurses sign their names, maybe they're signing off on your report sheet, they might, um, in addition to writing RN or whatever their licensed credentials are, you may also start to note other letters behind their name that stand for some of the certifications. So for example, when I sign my name, I always sign it, you know, RN, um, comma CPN because I'm a certified pediatric nurse. I would encourage you that while you might still be in nursing school right now and think, oh, that's forever away, start thinking about a goal for yourself and what kind of credentials you might wanna eventually get um, taking a certification exam. The really nice thing about this is when you're out working in the hospital setting, your hospital unit will often pay for your initial certification exam and then they will um, give you some money to reimburse you each um, time you have to recertify, whether that's annually or biannually. So if you think about it, you'd be crazy not to try to take the certification and especially if they're gonna help pay for it for you. Plus you can apply some of those educational credits to your annual, um, RN, your biannual RN licensure renewal. So it's honestly a win-win situation. So why get certified? Well. It's not that most places require a certification. Some units will, obviously every hospital and healthcare system is very different. But if you think about the whole purpose of taking a certification exam, it really is kind of, I think of it like a badge or a stamp of honor that indicates that you are specialized in this area. And when you get a certification, you'll keep up education every single year to continue to learn and grow in that specific area that again, makes you somewhat of the expert when you're dealing with um, those types of patients. So if you think about if you were gonna be working on a floor where you're seeing a lot of um, critical care patients, many nurses will sit um, for the certification exam for a critical care registered nurse. It's not an easy exam to take, but it honestly shows those are those nurses like I would wanna to go to those nurses if I had questions, um, if I needed help setting something up with a patient because they are probably most likely, they're the experts in that area that they have been tested on. Maybe right now you're working in the hospital setting, but that's probably not gonna be your forever job. And depending on where you go work, it really does show that you are dedicated to continuing education, which obviously as nurses, we all have to be um, continuing education for the rest of our lives as long as we're keeping up our RN licensure, but you should be doing those things because practices change all the time and you wanna stay in tune with what is the new best practice that we're doing at the bedside, what kind of changes are happening. And I kind of think that's the fun part of ha having a certification is it also not only is that badge of honor and helps people to see that is your area of expertise, but it also encourage you, encourages you to continue to be a learner in that area to maintain that certification. So for me, I wanna know those best practices that are changing all the time with my pediatric patients from baby all the way through 18 years of age. In addition, I think it's it looks very good when you are interviewing for a position and it might be the one thing that puts you that next level ahead of somebody else or another candidate who's interviewing for that very same position. Maybe you're both an RN, maybe you both have your BSN, but you're the one who actually has an additional certification. There are so many out there, there are hundreds of certifications, but as you are a new grad and you're working on the floor or a student, start to think about what kind of areas that you hope to land in someday, what kind of job, and that would be re really where you hunker down and focus on obtaining a certification. Because what would be the point of just taking certification after cert certification if you're working all over the place? So you really want to think, start thinking about where do I wanna end up and why, why would I wanna get certified? Because again, you wanna eventually um, get settled into a position and be the expert in that specific area. And lastly, I think it's really something that sometimes gets missed on the topic of certification exams, but I think it's helpful when your patients realize that, oh wow, this nurse that's taking care of me, she's certified as a pediatric nurse or whatever it may be. And often when you're talking to families or loved ones of the patient and they might ask you, well, how do you know this? You're, tell you're teaching us about this. How do you know this? How do you know that's gonna happen? And you can let them know, I'm actually certified in this area. I promise you this is something I deal with all the time and I want to assure you that you know this is what you can expect, so on and so forth. This is my last little, little 
piece of advice. I think it looks really great when you are getting your annual review, your sit down meeting with your boss or your manager to talk about what your professional goals are. Knowing that you have a certification or the desire to obtain a certification is a great professional goal to have and it shows that manager that you are committed to learning and maybe you're really committed to being a part of that team and continuing to grow on the unit. So it's honestly, it's a win-win situation for you because you're getting additional education. The hospital will oftentimes reimburse you for that certification and it helps with your professional development within your position to possibly get a pay raise or other things throughout the year because we all have to sit down for an annual review. So hopefully you found those tips helpful and I certainly hope that you consider and spend some time researching all the many certifications that are out there and good luck and happy studying.